one of the key things of this video today is that flip side of, of using the fast, but then how do we navigate the actual event? Enjoy your events, look forward to them, go there, immerse yourself in the conversation. Long, low to moderate physical activity is all you need to really get that, keep, get and keep that fat burning physiology. When you're done, make sure you're properly hydrated. Rolling into dessert and afterwards, you're just not gonna be hungry. You might have a few nuts, you might have a bite of cheesecake or sip on a, an aperitif, but it's just more for the social aspects. And this is how you can get through that event. In the last video, I discussed how we can use intermittent fasting as a key tool to navigating the holidays so that we can not only maintain our fat burning physiology, but ostensibly we might be able to enhance it by learning to extend out those fasts because we're trying to skip meals because we know these holiday festive events that we're going to go to are going to have too many calories. And, and one of the key things of this video today is that flip side of, of using the fast, but then how do we navigate the actual event? Now, the first and absolutely most important thing and message I want to get across today is enjoy your events. Look forward to them. Go there. Immerse yourself in the conversation. Engage yourself with others because at the end of the day, being a social animal is part of our DNA. We're meant to be social. We're not meant to be social all the time. We need our downtime. We need our alone time. But this is a key opportunity to engage in life and truly be a human being. So let go of the conscious thought. Don't worry about these things. Um, go and enjoy yourself. Now, with these events, the first thing I like people to do is to look at their calendar and see when these events are on that calendar and then it's critical to plan physical activity in the hours leading up to the event and in that day after. Now, ideally it would be training because that's easy for me to structure, it's easy for any coach to structure, but it doesn't have to be. It needs to be physical activity because long, low to moderate physical activity is all you need to really get, the, keep, get and keep that fat burning physiology. So let's start with the hours leading up to it. Uh, book in a training session of at least 45 minutes, but ideally anything above 75 minutes. I'd like to see people go an hour and a half, but 75 minutes to an hour and a half or more uh, is enough to really set that fat burning physiology in motion so that it's, it's really upregulated because your body doesn't know if it's going out for an hour and a half or two or three hours once you have that fat burning physiology in place. All right, so that's the first step. Now, if you've done your exercise and you found you've sweat quite a bit during that exercise, when you're done, make sure you're properly hydrated. And that doesn't mean just water, but water with electrolytes. Um, you can do V8 or tomato juice because that has trivial calories and lots of electrolytes. You can even do broth. But make sure that you're properly hydrated at the end because proper hydration is key to attenuating hunger. And I don't mean you need to fill up or, or need to feel your, you need to hydrate. Drink to thirst. That's all you need to do, just take the edge off because you might feel sluggish and worn out or a little lightheaded. And very often if you sweat a lot, that means you, you need to do some hydration. So make sure you hydrate. Then go get a shower, get cleaned up, get dressed, get yourself on the way. And you won't think about that because that fat burning physiology is carrying into all of this activity. And if you want to really supercharge your fat burning to really attenuate your hunger triggers going in, take a Vespa as you're on your way to that event because as we've shown in that emerging data video I did um, recently, Vespa really is going to significant 
greatly increase your fat oxidation, particularly if you've been doing exercise. So the combination of exercise before hydration and Vespa is really going to set you up to go into that event just not feeling really hungry and then you you can play out that glass of wine or that drink um, or that soda water over the course of the mixer portion and, and maybe have an appetizer or two not because you're hungry but you kind of want to do it for the, the social aspects to not be seen as an outsider or not fe make people feel like, you know, oh, he's watching his diet, so I have to too, because it, it gets a little awkward. You know, immerse yourself, enjoy some stuff. You know, if something looks good in an appetizer, have one. And then when you sit down for that meal, again, you're not going to be very hungry. So you can converse. You can have non-starchy vegetables and protein sources you see as food and less of the carb, carbon fat rich stuff and the, the big portion size and the second serving and you can converse with people and spend time and just pick away because you're not really hungry, you're really kind of eating more for social reasons and just play it out, okay? Rolling into dessert and afterwards you're just not going to be hungry. You might have a few nuts. You might have a bite of cheesecake or sip on a, an a aperitif, but it's just more for the social aspects. And this is how you can get through that event. Now, if you've happened to have two or three drinks and you're feeling it, after that, make sure to have a glass of water and take a Vespa because that'll clear up any of the hangover tendencies. As one of my clients says, he'll have three to five bourbons on a Friday evening and take a Vespa and a glass of water and he says, it's like it never happened. So that'll help clear that out. Now, the next day, it's really critical to get out and do long physical activity. Now, ideally, again, this could be a long, moderate training session, like a long run or a long ride, etc. But it doesn't have to be. You can do things with your family, like go for long bike rides or hikes or go to a museum or go to an aquarium. Um, just get moving. You can do projects around the house, like cleaning house or cleaning out the garage or a pantry or a fridge um, or go and do stuff with the kids. It, it doesn't matter as long as you're doing long physical activity. Okay? Now, uh, one last thing that I want to address is goes back to the intermittent fasting. Make sure you're doing it doable intermittent fast because one of the things I see a lot of is a lot of people are looking online, they're seeing all these people doing these long fasts and they want to do it too because they want to achieve what other people are achieving and they're not starting from where they are. And a lot of times people will be able to do these fasts but when they break the fast and start eating they can't stop. So make sure it's doable. Make sure you employ these strategies of the physical activity to signal to your body you're doing physical activity and recruiting the, the body to mobilize its own fat stores ahead of the eating and then staying hydrated and using Vespa to all to help attenuate those hunger signals so that you can navigate the, the holidays and, and come out of it ready to train in your new season and continue on that journey to optimize your health and performance potential. Thanks very much.